First pitch away, ball one. Actually, he's out of Prosper, Texas. He's a freshman. Lift to the left field, easy, yeah. easy fly ball there. Run down by Deaton for the first out of the inning. Chris Andritzos. Okay, the Niners, or the Niners, the Roadrunners tied it up in the third. The Niners. So, yeah, the I don't the know where that came from. This isn't, this isn't a lot of Probably, maybe game. it's probably looking at red, like 49er San Francisco colors. But, confused, uh, huh? Yeah. Anyway, I was going to say, the shutdown inning here you need after last night, every time, like every time Bakersfield scored, OU would respond. High fly ball popped up and is, nope, no one's going to be there. Out Wind caught that and blew it out of play. A little later on, that might have stayed in play. Once Carter is uh, there. Uh, in fact, look at that. I just saw who got the ball. Believe it or not, the one and only J. Rob's son, Justin Roberts, the first base coach for the volunteer coach for the uh, Roadrunners, is got the ball. <laughs> He's precocious. I'm wondering if uh, Justin's parents, Brooke and Randy Roberts, well, I see right his there. sister. Uh, I see his sister and his mom and his uh, wife down there. So. Yeah, I saw Brooke and Randy Roberts' with parents uh, here last night. I'm sure they're probably here sure tonight. Sure, they probably are here. Of course, Randy, his father, was a longtime coach at North High and Centennial at baseball, retired a couple years ago. And mom, Brooke, just went into the local Kern County Hall of Fame. As she should have. 885 high school volleyball coaching wins. I'd argue might be the greatest coach, male or female, in Kern County history based yeah. on some of her – Prep accomplishments. I tell you what, when you have 885 wins and nobody else in the central section history has is barely at 600, that tells you how dominant her career was. Well, and the fact that you win a Division One state volleyball title coming out of Bakersfield, that's pretty incredible with the amount of talent that she had there too. Big breaking ball from Andrew Hansen. Well, the interesting thing, and maybe you aren't aware of this, that she was the state, the, the Centennial was just in its infancy as a new program. Yep. and. They were Division II state champions, and then next year moved up to Division I and won the Division I state champions. Yeah. They were back-to-back -back state champions. Incredible. And got him. Impressive uh, effort there Number by. Taylor. Number four, Hunter Haley. Pitch at the outside corner at the knees. Outstanding pitch there by Andrew Hansen. So Hansen now already ahead here with two outs. That's his third strikeout. Pitching well tonight, huh? at least to this point. Haley, big swing and a miss on a breaking ball. Swung over the top of it. 74 mile an hour curveball. Haley's an aggressive swinger here. Trying to take some off speed and maybe take a little bit of that aggressiveness away. Next pitch, bore right in there again. Strike two call. Yep. So Andrew Hansen, freshman here from Bakersfield, pitching well here in the top of the fourth. 0-2 count. See if he wastes a pitch here or goes right after him. And he goes right after him, fouls it away. Probably in a John Farron's car. There were some moans. Probably my car. I only heard, I did hear one hit a car last night. You hear a little thump. No noise on that one. 0-2 pitch. And he got away from there. Yeah, just wasted one, yep. I think. He was looking at that outside corner. And just got up and over. This, a little more slowing down, a little more deliberate throwing here. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be fouled back into the corner. It's the fence. It's a bumper on a Suburban. That's where the coaches park yep. their cars down there. The locker room for Cal State is uh, giving a little shelter to those cars. If it hooks in there, uh, might be able to take out someone's windshield. Well, it's going to be a major issue for CSUB here in the coming, and that's another foul ball. So we're seeing a pretty good battle here with Haley. That'll be a major issue for CSUB is to improve these facilities right now. Because honestly, I mean, it's it's a it's a great playing surface, a great looking field. 
I would say that BC's baseball facilities are a little bit better right now than than the Division One program. But well, that's, again, that's I think I, well, and the thing is, it's still in an infancy yeah. program here. I mean, right. we're talking this baseball program started here in 2009. At the time, they didn't even have permanent seats here, right. and uh, you know, so you know, you you kind of take baby steps, and uh, I would expect in the next three to five years, you're going to see a lot of upgrades here, not only in baseball but across across the way in other facilities. And that ball again hit foul. So Haley continues to battle Andrew Hansen. Not sure the pitch count is on this particular. Probably about the uh, seventh pitch. Breaking pitch on the outside. I think he gets him. Down low, full count. I think Matt Turk saying that was the ninth pitch in the series. Or in the at bat. 3-2, what do you call now here, Jeff? Outside corner, don't let him pull anything. There's the pitch. And struck him out. And Haley, Haley is not happy. 